Hello, David Healy here at TotalComposure.com. Today I'm going to show you how to use the batch item export feature in Reaper to export multiple audio items in one go. So I'm going to start off by creating a couple of audio items within Reaper. Let's insert a virtual instrument. And I'm just going to record a few items. That'll do. Just got three items there. So the next thing I'm going to do is duplicate this track, just to demonstrate that the export works on multiple tracks. I will give this one a name. We'll call it Track 1. Call this Track 2. And call this Track 3. Now I'm going to select all the items I want to export. And let's say I don't want to export this one here. So I'll hold control, click on that, and deselect it. Next I'm going to go to the file menu, go down to batch file, item converter, and we get this window. I click add, add selected media items, that will add these items that we've selected. You can also add files if you're using external files and you just want to convert them to a different format or you want to apply effects to them. And the top portion of this window shows us what's going on. So the input is these items. The status is queued because we haven't yet clicked convert or done anything else to them. And the output is the output directory and the file name. So I'm going to make a folder on my desktop. I'm going to call it export. Hit OK on that. If you're using external files, you can also click Use Source File Directory. Now we're going to choose the file name. You can just type in a name, and this will be applied to each of the files made from the audio items, and they'll have a number appended to the end of them. What we're going to do, though, is choose a wildcard. If the tracks are within a folder track, and you'd like the name of the folder track as part of the file name of the exported files, you can choose Parent Track and that will give you that folder name. We're just going to use the track name. I'm going to put a hyphen in there. And then I want to apply the item number to the file name as well. The items are numbered left to right for each track. So that's one, two, three. And if we look in the output at the top part of this window now, we can see the file name that each file is going to have. So the first three will be track one, number one, track one, number two, track one, number three. Track 2 number 1, track 2 number 3 because we haven't selected item number 2 on that track. Track 3 is 1, 2, 3, same as the first track. Now we can choose a sample rate. We just want it to be the same as our project, so we leave it at source. We could choose a different one if we wanted it converting. We can choose the channels. Again, we're going to leave it at source, which is currently stereo. Resample. I tend to leave this at better or best. If you'd like to apply effects to the mixed down audio files, you can do that here using an effects chain. Here I've just got some rather bizarre EQ set up, and the resulting audio file will have this effect applied to them. You can apply dithering or noise shaping to the mixed down files. If you have a plugin to do that, you can apply it in the effects chain. You can select the output format, and you can select the bit depth, and there's some other settings here that I don't tend to touch very much. Once you're happy with your settings, you can click Convert All. Then you'll get this confirmation box, and the status up here will say Done. If we open the Export folder on my desktop, you can see that each item has been converted to its own audio file with the naming that we chose. This is particularly useful if you're exporting samples for a sample library, or loops, or just generally you've got a load of files that need to be exported and automatically named. Thanks again for watching. I hope you found this useful. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, SoundCloud, and check out our website. Subscribe to our mailing list to get updates on our new sample libraries, and I'll see you next time.